Hello, it's me. Hello, it's me. Whoa, we're real echoey today. Whoa, we're real Yeah, do you believe that is the echo gone? I do believe we need to move this a little bit closer, right over here. Work it harder, make it better, move it faster, makes us stronger. This is me testing my radio announcer voice. Very good. We're switching to gameplay solo for just a moment to see how it... Oh, that's not good. Gonna have to... Gonna have to clip that. Sure it's a good thing there's nobody in here. How about this? No, I don't. Oh, there I am. Hello, it's me. Hello. This is not a good angle, but we can make it better. These are brownies. Ignore them. Going back here.
Hello, it's me. Hello, it's just me. Currently, it is exclusively and entirely me. Oh my goodness. I've been raided. I've been raided by Ellie with a lot of humans. Oh my goodness. Hello, all you humans. I have uh, literally five times as many viewers as we've ever had in this chat. That's not a lot, but it, it, is, it is more than I expected. Uh, we're going to play some Jeopardy today. There's going to be uh, uh, a fair amount of audio troubleshooting before then, which is uh, uh, everyone's favorite, favorite part of any stream. Uh, but once we get there, we should be we should be playing some Jeopardy. Uh, however, it it should be made even even more interesting, even more exciting, because uh, we have a sizable section of humans that are to come for Jeopardy, including most of the D and D crew and my dear wonderful mother Teresa. Uh, however, uh, none of them is here. Uh, full stop. None of them is here. Currently. It's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's just me. So this might be a Tom stream. This might be a Tom stream. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> how dare you? Full stop is not a Zoomer phrase. Full stop is a British phrase. For whatever god awful reason, that's what they call their periods. Uh, the, the dots at the end of the sentence, uh, are called full stops, uh, in the UK. So, uh, I, I have planned for this, uh, I, I have, I have a backup plan, I got a whole lot of Jeopardy and you guys are about to get, uh, no, ellipsis is the three little dots, a, a full stop is the name that a period has in the UK, uh, <laughs> it's funny, I say that when I'm passive aggressive too, anyway, uh, oh my word, wait, hold on here a second, hold on, hold on, I've, I'm, I'm pressing, I'm pressing the new human button, I'm pressing the new human button, and we're seeing if it works, I'm testing, I'm testing, and I'm going to my Twitch side to see if I can actually hear anybody talk, hello Zach, and hello Ellie, and hello all of the Ellie humans, I'm I'm listening for a Zeb and I believe that Zeb is only coming through as a as an echo through my uh speakers. So hold on one second. We'll be right back. We're, we're gonna we're troubleshooting. This this is me saying, Zeb, go ahead and say words. Hello, I am saying words once again. Is it time for me to start listing off the slurs I like to use? <laughs> St you, you are live on the internet, and they will never forget any of the things you say. You're real quiet in the background. Let me see if I can boost you a bit. Okay. Hold on. 
hold up. I can also help with that a little bit. You know what? That sounds that sounds kind of okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you getting I'm I'm still the loudest, but we can auto balance that. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You will never believe who just entered the waiting room. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, I do believe that I can hear you, Mother Dear, coming through on stream. That That is my wonderful mother. And I think that that means that I can pull out my, I can pull out my testing uh, headphones. I no longer need them. Okay, uh, we have Zeb and my mother. Uh, of all the wonderful, beautiful things. Mom, by the way, Ellie is in the chat with her brother. They're both here. Uh, Mom, can you see me? Sh can either of you see me sharing my screen at present? No, probably not, because I'm not doing that. It would probably help if I did, in fact, do that. Hold on a second. This this is the kind of hard-hitting entertainment that people come to the Scruffy Ruffians channel for. Can, that is the name of uh, that is the tr what do you mean no 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 we have not started yet this is uh this is this is jeopardy board number nine that is currently a work in progress <laughs> we are playing we're playing game two and game three. Oh no don't worry mom as far as uh uh, on the on the uh, spectrum of everyone who is supposed to be here, you're real early. You're real early. <laughs> so we got we got some jeopardy here, here team. Uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, and we'll run a quick little quick little test game here. See if we have a chance of this working. You know what we will do? We will do the the sci-fi pun category. Hold on, we gotta we gotta do we gotta do one of these. We gotta do one of these so that people can only see only see the Tom face. Confirming you guys can still see Jeopardy over on your side. I'm pressing the play button. That's fine. I cannot see. Well, I see the blue screen. Oh, now I see it. That's fine. There's nothing in my browser except Jeopardy. As I say, this this this, this is the kind of hard hitting entertainment they come for. I appreciate you not having anything else in the browser. Yeah, I just clo I just closed out. Well, never mind. This is it. Turns to camera one. Hold on. Turns to camera two. This is a family show. I'm pressing two teams. Yes, we are playing in buzzer mode. We're going to do a quick test while we're waiting for these other fine humans. Can you guys see this on your screen? I can see this on my screen. That's excellent. We're going to play Jeopardy. Okay. Uh, this... Yeah, go ahead and join it. We're just gonna do. We're just gonna run a quick test game. Make sure that our buzzers are working while we give everybody else another little bit of a chance to get in here. Uh, because because we had, uh, I believe we had seven confirmations. Uh, we have a good old fashioned boop in the chat that is outstanding. Uh, 
We had a rousing six confirmations, I believe. Uh, and two of them canceled and uh, two of them are ghosting us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, Zeb, Zeb, uh, you have been practicing your, your space fillers, yes? You've been practicing your, uh, uh, your time fills? Uh, what? You've been practicing your, you know, you, you have a, a series of, uh, of, uh, stories and anecdotes that are prepared to, uh, uh, to accommodate, to fill airtime, to fill dead airtime, right? Uh, I wish for you to flip to the page 110 and read to us the second paragraph from the biography of, of, of Joe Hill. Okay. Meanwhile, Tom Alt-Tabs press control, presses Control-T and Googles Joe Hill. Joe Hill, American writer. The fireman in the heart-shaped box. Is that where the phrase heart-shaped box comes from? Oh, oh, he's Stephen King's son. No. Joe Hill. There might also be a Joe Hill name that. That is not the Joe Hill that I am. What, 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 tell, what, tell me about this person. Um, what is, he was an important member of the IWW. The full title of this book is Joe Hill, the IWW and the Making of a Revolutionary Working Class Counterculture. All right. This is a distinct Joe Hill, though I will note this is the second most famous Joe Hill that is a uh, 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 that is a writer. This is the second most famous Joe Hill author. Uh, Zeb, I am just I'm just waiting on this Joe Hill was an author. He was a union organizer. Uh, Zeb, I believe I am waiting on you in this Jeopardy game. You do not have to answer in the form of a question. You will get bonus nerd points if you do. Well, that wasn't the question, but thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sorry. What, what was the question? Uh, the question is, um, am I going to actually be able to see the questions because I'm playing on my phone? Because I forgot to run my computer home. Um, uh, maybe not. <laughs> so I might have to go back and just watch. That it may be the case that that you are unable that you are unable to both see the see the questions and buzz at the same time. By the way, we continue to have a very angry cat in this house. A very, very angry cat. That's okay. Um, in theory, this is gonna be team jeopardy, so we should be able to uh, we should be able to work it. Uh, even if one or two players can't see the screen, there's only a couple of, uh, of visual categories. So you should be able to, to hear the, to hear the question and be, and be solid if that works for you, mom. Um, I don't know. I might just, um, watch because I'm, uh, 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 um, I'm not hear what you're saying and then I'll miss my opportunity to answer. And also I read faster than you speak. Yes, as do I. Yeah. Yes. But individuals are not allowed to buzz in, and we'll, we'll do that when we do the official rules. Individuals are not allowed to buzz in before I finished asking the question. Right, but I'll, I'll have, I have to think about the answer, and it'll give me that microsecond. Yeah, combined with the bit of lag, usually by the time I've figured it out, is usually when you have finished talking about it before in real life, but before my computer's telling me Two people out here just casually trying to cheat. Uh, yes. That's <laughs> uh, that's fine for the moment, though. If you guys are all right with it, let's go right ahead and take a look at the first little the, the our little test category. You guys, ready? Yep. I have pressed the begin button. Uh, pay no attention to any of these. These are not real categories. We are ignoring all of these. We are instead going just to focus on the category sci-fi puns. Okay. Uh, are you guys ready? Yes. 
Are we ready in the chat? Oh, we have a lot of activity in the chat. Uh, uh, flipping it and reversing it is not a legal. Uh, it's not a legal move in Jeopardy, and I apologize about that. Here we go. Uh, for two hundred and sci-fi puns, a Douglas Adams novel where nearly everyone is missing their top two limbs. Boy, this is going great. <laughs> uh, Zeb, did you buzz in? Zeb, Zeb, did I see that you buzzed in? I did not. Well, this is going to go very, very well. <laughs> uh huh. Anyone in the chat? Tom throws to the chat. Tom sees nothing in the chat. The answer that I'm looking for is mostly armless. Most mostly armless. Uh, that was one of my well, yeah, it's like I just want. I feel like you guys didn't get the joke. It's a it's a pun. The book is called Mostly Harmless. And I just, I, I'm just, I'm just feeling like you guys didn't get the joke. I really got to make sure that, that you guys, that you guys get the joke. We can't move on until you guys get the joke. No, I got, I got the joke. I just, in my uh, allergy, adult delirium, could not remember half of the six books in the trilogy. Are you sure? You're confident you, you're confident that we're, that we all, we're all on the same page. We all get the joke. I get the I get joke. It now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Moving right along for 400 points. Uh, parents give birth to a forbidden third child that turns out to be a rude robot from Futurama. Robot goes on to lead an invasion of an alien world. Uh, I believe that's Zeb and the Apatosaurus side. Uh, Zeb, you do not get bonus points for knowing more things than the question asks. <laughs> However, uh, you do get the, the standard, the standard amount of points. Uh, I was looking for, uh, for Ender Ending Rodriguez, the, uh, uh, the full title, but I will of course accept Bender's Game. For, for 600. Professor Mosby leaves behind a life of architecture and finds himself taking off limbs with a plasma cutter aboard the USG Ishimura. Ellie says, Tom, these are ridiculous. And that's correct. <laughs> no, not a lot of... Uh... Oh, we got a Zeb. Ted Space is the correct answer. It is Ted Space. Yeah! <laughs> it is Ted Space! Ted being the main character from How I Met Your Mother and Dead Space being that game. I love this category. Man, does this category work really well when people when people answer the questions? <laughs> Hey, 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 you heckin' love that game. This is a family show. <laughs> this is a family show. This is, in fact, a family show. All right. Uh, so, for 800, this is not a sci-fi question, actually. This is a literature question that happened to slip into the pun category because this is a test category to make sure that everybody knows how to play. But that's fine. This is a literature question. Here we go. Uh, Jim Carrey turns green, goes crazy, uh, and uh, get, I should say gets, gets buried in a wall in a creative retelling of a classic story by Poe. Zeb? The Mask of Amontillado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> 
Grinch. <laughs> ooh, ooh, the Grinch is a good one. I thought it was the Grinch. The Grinch is a good one. I should add a Grinch also question. Green that is a different green Jim Carrey. Uh, I I might have accepted the Grinch of I might have accepted the Grinch of a Mariato. Uh, and there it is. Uh. I have been honestly filibustering trying to get to a point where the rest of our team has a chance to get in, but I have, in fact, pinged them twice. So it, uh, it might just be the three of us. It might just be the three of us. <laughs> All right. Um, unless I'm mistaken... Both of the two of you, this, this actually interestingly came out to a very fair game. Both of the two of you have seen at least some of the questions in Jeopardy proper before, and at least some of them are new. So, if you guys are excited about it. Mom, you know lots of things. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just a lot of them are... are Characters from all my children, which I have not included any questions on. You know, I do know characters from aliens too. That's true. We did have an aliens, uh, an aliens, um, final Jeopardy question. That was pretty good. That's also, to be fair, uh, aliens is sort of a weak point in my knowledge base. Uh, this is very fair. This is very reasonable. All right, before we go on. Uh, the last sci-fi pun in the category, I believe. Okay. Here we go. Jack Harkness decides to leave his weird glass tube behind and fight crime using his opposable nose hairs. Uh, Ellie, this is a program called Factile. I made this by hitting my head against a computer until it was funny. No takers, not a lot of not a lot of doctor not a lot of Doctor Who fans in the audience, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Zeb Zeb, you buzzed in? I didn't see it. Go ahead. I know you know where I live, but I also know you think this is funny, even though you're not you're pretending you don't. Oh, oh yeah. No, no, but I have vivid memories of watching that anime while delirious with swine flu. Uh, hey, hey, we got, we got time. It's just us. You guys want to take a take a trip down the. Uh, down the acid trip that is uh bo 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 there it is there it is we're just gonna all right all right we're just gonna we're gonna click on images real fast this is a crime fighter who fights crime using his nose hairs uh, that's not Jeff Harkness, though, is it? it isn't but it's a pun between those two So it's the face of. All right, are you guys ready to move on to Jeopardy proper? If you guys are, we're gonna we're gonna go right ahead here. We don't know the Pokemon sounds. No, I've included bad categories. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Because uh, Ellie's in chat judging me, which is exactly what I intended. Um, because, uh, yeah, yeah, everybody, everybody on chat, should, everybody on stream should be able to hear you. Oh yeah. Uh, just confirming in chat, we can hear, we can hear both of our, both of our guests. We have, we have six viewers right now. By the way, we have, we have six whole viewers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know we're 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 super cool. Uh, I am told that your uh, that that your 
audio is low. I will try to try to adjust that real fast. Uh, uh, they say that you're a little hard to hear, but Ellie says hello to you, mom. I'm hard to hear, honey. Just a little bit. I'm gonna try to gonna try to up your volume on my part, on my side, I should say. Uh, uh, I can try to speak louder too. All right. Then again, I haven't spoken a lot because I don't know any answers yet. <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, yes, you are a little low over on the side. Hold on just one second. Uh, Mother, do you say words? You know you're my favorite, Thomas. I love you, honey. Oh, that's actually pretty good. All right, we're going we're gonna to roll with that. Okay. We're going to roll with that. I'm going to adjust... Can adjust the mic on my side? I don't think I'm breaking up. You weren't up recording that, were you? Too, oh, yeah, Mom. You're live on the internet. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. For for the first round, this Everyone is... Everyone knows that there's a favorite, but you're not supposed to say it where the well, others... I... Oh, hold on. I just want you to know I say it to each of them separately. Got to got to got to make sure that that we switch to this so that nobody no no randos join the game. All right. If you guys can okay, see so we got to go back out. You do. You got to go back out and hop into another game. Hold on one second. We're going to go right ahead and get started here in just a second. And maybe we get a Brandon, maybe we get a Riley, maybe uh, maybe Aunt Tracy and Alex decide that they want to roll in. If they do, cool. If they don't, we'll just play one game. Maybe play the other one another time. I have two games prepared. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We will, we will absolutely see how it goes. All right, Zeb, I'm throwing to you. Go ahead and give us some space filler. What? No, shit. Let me get it. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Zeb, we got dead air. We're bleeding viewers. Uh, 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 Ellie, yes. You better believe this is all going on YouTube. We're in the pipe five by five. Oh, oh my goodness. That's exactly what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to turn this into a game of chaos jeopardy. That's absolutely. That's absolutely what we're gonna do. Oh, Zeb, you have bailed. Uh, I'm having some technical issues. That's okay. I'm back. We're okay. Good. All right. Here we go. We are pressing begin the game. Here we go. Your categories for intermediate Jeopardy round one are as follows. TV rhyme time. The answer to every one of these questions will rhyme, and they are all related to TV shows. Careful counting. Abstract Nintendo characters. Pokemon sounds. Something's bugging me. And space. Uh, I recognize one of these categories. Uh, Mom, as our returning champion, you get to pick first. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thomas, may I have TV round time for 200, please? For 200 points, a British cooking show achieves vertical thrust. Okay, I got it. Um, buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, oh my. Okay, so mom, are you looking at. How are you buzzing in? Are you buzzing in with voice? Yeah, I can't buzz in on the buzzer. Okay, then. Uh, Zeb, I'm going to have you buzz in with voice as well because this is Chaos Jeopardy. That's just the okay. way we're going to roll, okay? Okay. All right. Mom, why don't you go ahead? The Great British Baker and Shaker. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot accept that. Uh, Zeb, thrown to you. What is the Great British Takeoff? The Great British... Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a bake-off takeoff. That is exactly that correct. Good, Zeb. Uh, so, Zeb, this is, yes. this is chaos jeopardy. Something that I wasn't planning on running today, but here we are. What would you like to do with those points? What, what do you mean? I said, what would you like to do with those points? You got 200 points. Uh, I... Can, can I do things with them? You, what, yeah. What do you want to do with them? What, what can I do with them? That's not a part of the question. 
I'm, I'm going to hang on to them for the moment. You would like to keep those points. All right, that's very respectable. Zeb, pick a category. Uh, just to get the torture out of the way early on, let's go with uh, careful counting for two. For 200 points, this is the number of 60 second minutes in a 365-day common year. Oh, mom, mom, very quick at the end of my sentence. Mom, go right ahead. 525,600 minutes. 525,600 is absolutely correct. Mom, what do you want to do with those points? I'd like to trade those in for a prize. Uh, uh, I'm afraid you need a minimum of 2,000 points to trade in for a prize. In that case, I'll hold them. You're just going to keep them? All right, we're just going to keep them. Uh, Mom, you're bored. I'd like to go back to TV rhyme time for 400. For 400 points, a disaster caused by an Owl House antagonist turned love interest. Buzz, 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 buzz. buzz. Zeb, go right ahead. <laughs> An Amity Calamity. Amity Calamity is the right answer. What do you want to do with those points? Uh, can, I, can I trade them in for, like, a, uh, what, 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 what can I trade them in for besides prizes? Uh, I'm afraid that is not a part of the question. Fuck. <laughs> can I spend these points to learn how, how other ways I can use these points? Uh, no. Uh, and in fact, you've asked one too many questions, your points are gone. Fuck. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Uh, careful counting for four. For 400 points. This is the number of times that Dragon Balls were used in the original Dragon Ball. Buzz. Buzz. Oh, mom buzzing in fast. Oh, oh my god, I've just been casually sitting on my face cam this whole time. Thank you, Ellie, that's very kind of you. There it is. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You can see the questions now. Mom, what was your, what was your answer? Four? Four is the correct answer, there it is. Uh, Mom, what would you like to use, how would you like to use those points? I'm gonna keep um, them for now. You're keeping them? All right, where are we going on this board? A careful counting for 600. Careful counting for 600 points. This is the number of playable characters in the original Tekken. Buzz. Zeb? Uh, what is 14? 14 is incorrect. I am taking your points away. Mom, Mom, you want to take a guess? Do I lose points if I get it wrong? You sure do. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I am looking for eight. Eight is the correct answer. Seventeen is also correct. Uh, if you really want to roll with the PS One port, Zeb, the board is still yours. Uh, let's go with another counting. Careful counting for eight hundred. This is the number of solar system planets represented among the Sailor Scouts. Buzz. Oh, Zeb, Zeb, just barely beating out. Uh, seven. Seven is the correct answer. Unfortunately, uh, I've thrown to our judges, and they're, and they're saying it's nine? Yeah, they're saying it's nine. I'm sorry. Fuck you. <laughs> what would you like to do with those points? Thank you. You're taking the points, taking the points and running. Uh, uh, we do not respect Pluto here. <laughs> uh, yes, we do. Viva la Pluto. Fuck you. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, let's finish it out. For a thousand points, this is the number of actors who have played Batman in feature-length cinema-released live-action films. Uh, Zeb, go right ahead. What is... 12? 12 is incorrect. How'd you get to 12? Uh, honestly, random guess. All right, Mom, you want to take a random guess? I'm not taking, I'm not taking points away because this question's hard and I make the rules. Um, six. Six? I'm going to accept it. It should be seven, but we don't care about Adam West here. Mom, the board is yours. Uh, let's go with 
I'm sure something's bugging me for 200. <laughs> for 200 points. In a scene that really gets under my skin, these creatures end up finishing off a few characters in 1999's Buzz. The Mummy. Buzz. Buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. We got mom. What is it? A scarab beetle. Scarab beetle is the correct answer. Also, I just got a notification from Zoom uh, that this meeting is going to end in 10 minutes. <laughs> So that's great. We might have to reload that in a minute. Uh, that's fine. Mom, the board is yours. Something bugged me for 400 points. For 400 points. This character was the original Ant-Man. Buzz. Zeb? What is Hank Pym? Hank Pym is the right answer. You banking those points? I not respect. Oh, uh, Zeb does not respect Hank Pym, and I don't respect that position. Uh, I respect uh, caused Olivia. more issues than any other superhero through his direct action. Uh, as Zeb is clearly knowledgeable about Hank Pym, Zeb gets double points for that question. Yes. <laughs> Zeb, go ahead. Uh, bugs for six. For 600 points. In this 1989 film, after getting caught up in one of their father's science experiments, youths Nick and Amy befriend a worker ant and name it Auntie. Buzz. Mom. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is the right answer. Uh, Mom gets you know, double points. Are you still talking now? <laughs> Say that again? <laughs> are we allowed to buzz while you're still talking now? No, you're not. Uh, Ellie, says Tom is, Ellie says Tom is drunk on power, as though that hasn't been the case. Uh, Mom gets... I'm afraid you're not going to hear me buzzing. <laughs> Mom Sorry, gets... Fact, I won't stop buzzing until Tom's done talking. In spite of her... Until Tom's done talking. In spite of her early buzzing, Mom gets double points uh, for watching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids with me more than 30 times when I was a child. True. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going, Mom? Something's bugging me for 800. For 800 points. In Naruto and Associated Works, Kikaichu, Rinkaichu, and Shokaichu are all variants of insect used by this Kanoha Village clan. Buzz, 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 buzz. Zeb? The Abarame clan. The Abarame clan is the right answer. Uh, that's one of the nerdier questions in here. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> that's actually pretty run of the mill. Zeb, where are we going? Uh, bugs for a thousand. Bugs for a thousand points. In American Gods, Shadow meets a number of incarnations of gods from different places and times, including the North, o the Norse Odin, the Egyptian Thoth, and this West African god of spiders and storytelling. Buzz. Zeb, go ahead. Uh, what is Anansi? Anansi is correct. Zeb gets half points for that question for making me read American Gods. Yeah, it sure is, but it took up a lot of my time. Zeb, where are we going? Pokemon for two. Pokemon sounds for two that for two hundred. What? Uh, your question is Psyduck. Buzz. Zeb. Uh, sigh, sigh. <laughs> it's that, like a very whiny noise. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I I was looking, of course, for sigh. sigh, sigh, sigh. <laughs> Zeb, the board is yours. Uh, Pokemon sounds for four, because I think it'll be funny for me to, like, guess and make it up. Well, you <laughs> Locked up in my sinuses. Togepi. Uh, Buzz. Go ahead. <laughs> That's the correct answer. Mom, I'm terribly sorry. This this category is not made for you. It just makes me really happy. For 600, we're running the category Butterfree. Please don't, please don't make me do any more. No buzz. Is that a sound? No, no buzz. Uh, Zeb, was that cough your answer? Uh, sure. Uh, Zeb, that's correct from the time when Butterfree was dying in one of those episodes. Uh, Ellie says that uh, I actually made this category so people would meme themselves to me. Uh, and yes. Yes, I did. For 800 points. Starmie. Buzz. 
Mom? Buzz. Mom, go ahead. <laughs> he, the, he probably made that sound when he was dying in one of them, too. You know what's very funny about that, Mom? That's correct. <laughs> That, that is very close to the actual sound he makes. Please have points. <laughs> and finally, finishing out the category. Here we go. For a thousand points. Mewtwo. <laughs> Buzz. Zeb. Is not the circumstances of one's birth that is important? That's all I can remember. I'll accept yeah. this. I'll accept this. Uh, the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. Absolutely correct. <laughs> One of my favorite things in the world to do is to say the phrase a Chinese philosopher, I'm sorry, a Japanese philosopher once said and then say that sentence because I think it's funny. <laughs> Zeb, there's three categories left. Where are we going? Abstract Nintendo. Abstract Nintendo characters. I hope you guys are ready. Be quick on the buzzers. Mom, can you see the board, by the way? I can, yes. You can? All right. For 200 points. Oh, buzz. Mom. Wario. Wario is the correct answer. <laughs> Fucking things! Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna cry. Okay, for 200 in space, the doctor keeps changing, but the TARDIS, but the vehicle does not. TARDIS is an acronym standing for this. But buzz. Mom. Sorry. Mom, go right ahead. Time and relative dimension in space. Absolutely correct. What do you want to do with those points? I'm gonna keep them still. You're gonna keep them. Okay. Time and relative dimension in space is the correct answer. Uh, space for 400, please. That's some real nerdy nonsense right there. At the end of this 1865 Jules Verne novel, three astronauts embark on a mission, but their fate is left ambiguous until the sequel, five years later. Buzz? Uh, Zeb? What is Journey to the Moon? Ooh, Judges? Judges are saying that because you said all that bad shit about Pluto, you don't get points for this question? <laughs> Mom, you want to take a swing? I know, I don't know. We are looking for from the Earth to the Moon. From the Earth to the Moon. Uh, Zeb, I believe you conflated from the, Earth, from the Earth to the Moon with Journey to the Center of the Earth. He has a pretty, a pretty, like, recognizable method of, uh, of naming his, his short stories and his novels. Oh, for sure. He has those naming conventions. Uh, we're going to need to take a break in about 60 seconds to restart a Zoom call, I guess? Didn't know that was the thing. The things you learn here on Nerdy Jeopardy. It'll kick you off, though, because it doesn't always, at least when I have students on, it doesn't kick me off. Cool. We're going we're gonna to play Hot Potato. Whoever has the board at the end of that time gets bonus points. Mom, go ahead. Uh, space... How many seconds I want? Uh, 66. Aw, oh, the film uh, is some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> space for 600, here we go. No, 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 I didn't say that because now I'm, I'm not getting the time anymore. Uh, mom gets a penalty for delay of game. She loses 400 points. <laughs> Uh, in 1993, this vehicle, this became the first video game to be played in space. Buzz. Uh, I heard Zeb first. You did not hear Zeb first. <laughs> Zeb, Zeb, what do you got? The first legal buzz. <laughs> However, uh, Tetris? Tetris is the correct answer. Absolutely right. Uh, Zeb, where are we going? Uh. Abstract Nintendo for four. For 400? Who is that? Buzz. Zeb? Princess Peach. That's Peach. That is Peach. You're right. That's Peach. (laughs) 
Oh, oh, it kicked us. Hold on. It did, in fact, kick us. Oh, boy. All right, we are, we're, we're on break right now while I, while I try to get these people back. Oh, my word. Please enjoy this picture of Princess Peach from, from Paper Mario while I, uh, while I get our team members back. Uh, Tom takes the invite, uh, copies the invite link, uh, goes, oh my lord, goes to, goes back to Discord, which he closed. <laughs> this is the kind of hard-hitting stuff you get when you sign up for the Scruffy Ruffians podcast. Oh my word. Uh, I love this game so much. All right, we're going to do that. We have sent it to Zeb. We are now getting it from Zeb's and sending it to my dear, wonderful, beautiful mother. Hold on. Uh, 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 Discord is lagging to high heaven. There it is. There we go. Tap, 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 send. Let's go. Alright, we're just waiting for these people. And if there's one thing I'm good at, team, it is talking at length with nothing to say. I'm very good at saying words slowly and deliberately with intention, but without all that much conviction. So it always seems like I'm saying something, but when in reality, I'm actually just playing for time. And it's, it's funny, the words that I use are actually a never-ending font. I can keep going forever without ever getting to the bottom of that pile of words. It just keeps going and going. It's rather like a sand dune. As you start digging in the sand on a beach, the sand just keeps pouring back into the hole. That's basically what me talking is like, especially when I am trying to wait for my friends, team members, and family members to get back into the game, and it looks like I have filibustered for just long enough. Hello, it's me. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hello, Zeb, is that you? What's up? Hello. Hello! Is my mother also in here? Uh, it says it's still connected, but... That's it's okay. Not- we're gonna go back to the board. I hope I hope that everyone on uh, everyone in stream, everyone in chat is enjoying this riveting content. Uh, uh, Ellie says I'm waffling. That is not the case. Waffling is when you flip flop position to position. What I'm doing is filibustering, filibustering. What and well, I think it's just filibustering more vamping because you are trying to fill dead air. Uh, that's an interesting point. I'd be I'd be willing to concede that. However, I will. Griffin. Hello, mother dear. How are you? Did I miss questions? You did not. I just took us back. Uh. Um. Hey, Tom. Yes. Could you would you consider maybe sharing your screen? Yes, I sir. I sure as sugar would. I can't think of anything, anything that I would rather do. Hold on one second. There it is. Intermediate Jeopardy. Click the share button. I am now sharing. Can you see my screen, team? I can. Yes. Yes, yes you can. Oh, my God. I'm having such a good time. Awesome. Pardon me. I'm going to take a brief break to eat a small bit of homemade brownie. There it is. Um. These are not special brownies. Those are in the oven. Um, I know where you live. <laughs> it's legal now. Mom, that's one of the funniest things you've ever said. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Zeb, I believe you got that question on Princess Peach, right? Yes. You also had the hot potato when <laughs> Zoom... Potato. It took too long to answer the question. <laughs> Zeb did have the hot potato, so the scores right now 
are 5,800 to 3,800. And you ready for this, guys? You ready for this? We're going to do that Jeopardy thing where halfway through the first round, you go through, you talk briefly to the players. So we have a, uh, a moisture farmer from the deserts of Tatooine. Teresa, how are you? Thank you for coming on the show. I am very well. Thank you so much for having me. I just got in from the outside. I was playing with the Wookiee, straightening up the droids out there. Uh, and I hear you've been rebuilding a speeder. Is that correct? Uh, that, you, that you've been racing in I Desert have. Canyon? I, I have. I have a friend who does it on a regular basis. His name is Ani. Great guy. <laughs> A little, a little moody, but um, really does a great job on, on helping me rebuild them. Spectacular. Well, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to be on the show. And, of course, over here, we have a a a vampire hunter from, it says here, 15th, 15th century Transylvania. Zeb, is that correct? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately. Shit in the street and demons running over everything, and I can't get a decent drink. Sounds just like New York. All right, let's get back into the Jeopardy round. Uh, he really does. Too. Zeb, I believe you have control of the board. TV for six. For six hundred TV rhyme time. As a reminder to our viewers at home, all of these questions will rhyme, and they are all related to television shows. For 600, Leslie from Parks and Recreation comes into possession of a famous fact-checking website. Buzz. Zeb? What is Nopes Snopes? Nopes Snopes is the correct answer. Uh, uh, Zeb, what would you like to do with those points? You got 600 points. Uh, can I trade them in for a prize? Uh, you certainly can. You have traded... How much would you like to trade? You can trade 2,000 or 6,000. Not, not 4,000? No. Uh, 2,000. All right. You drop down to 4,600. Uh, you have earned some penny stocks, which are now worth nothing. <laughs> Zeb, the board is yours. Yeah, that's right. I'm in charge of this game. <laughs> TV for eight. TV for eight hundred. What you might call a thrusting dagger wielded by the captain of the Enterprise. Nice. Oh, I heard him exactly the same time. You did not hear him exactly uh, the same time. I Teresa, Teresa got me by like I, a quarter second. I, th I think on a tie like that, I'm going to defer to the person with fewer points. So, Mom, go ahead. Yeah, Teresa had me on that. That was it. A Kirk Dirk, a Kirk Dirk is the correct answer. I had so many people at the con, like several people, be like, "Which captain?" And I said, "The one that rhymes with the dagger." <laughs> Mom, where are we going? Uh, let's finish that one off for a thousand. For a thousand, finishing it out, a ravine that Dana from the X Files might fall into. Buzz. Mom. Gully. A Scully Gully is the right answer. Absolutely correct. <laughs> Alright, Mom pulling ahead uh, after Zeb trying to do some, uh, some amateur stock market investing. We should all know better than that at this point. Mom, where are we going? Um, let's try uh, Space for 800. Space for 800 points. This is the number of Earthlings that have been to the moon. Buzz? Buzz. Zeb? Uh, well, Buzz is one of them. Got him! Uh, I want to say seven? Seven is not correct. Mom, you want to take a swing? Uh, six. Six is also not correct. I'm not going to take points away because this is hard. The answer is 12. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. 12 individuals have walked on the moon over the course of the Apollo program, but I do like to add in this. I am of the opinion that this is the correct number right here, that is 24, because we don't count the orbiting personnel when we when we talk about them, and I don't think that's fair. I think it's also cool to 
to circle the moon. Uh, have they been near the moon? Uh, yeah, th- th- I would say they've been to the moon. You know, if you pass just outside the atmosphere of Jupiter, I'm willing to say you've been to Jupiter. I mean, if I have a layover and I don't leave the airport, did I really, like, have I really been to Vegas? Um, yeah. I can actually specifically answer that because the government will make you show that you have, um, a vaccination, even or they have a negative test, even if you laid over somewhere. Uh, uh, Ellie makes a good point. They have been to the moon c- compared to us. Mom also makes a good point, and for that good point, she gets bonus points. Oh, thank you. Anytime, right up until I take them away. Uh, uh, Mom, I believe the board is still yours. Oh, and I'm I'm losing losing my mic here for a thousand points. This this question is brought to you by the fine folks at Collectors Inn, Collectors Inn in Buffalo, uh, known for giving unreasonably hard questions uh, uh, to in categories that don't really seem to fit. For a thousand at the beginning of the Infinity Gauntlet arc. These two characters find themselves trapped in the Soul Gem before escaping with the help of Adam Warlock. Buzz? Zeb? What is... Drax the Destroyer... and... Rocket Raccoon? It is not Drax and Rocket! However, I will give you points! Unless mom can scoop the other one. Not a clue. Dra- it was, it wait, is... Wait, 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 wait. The Silver Surfer. <laughs> That's correct. Ah, yay! <laughs> uh, which I believe means mom gets full points. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. She just said the Silver Surfer. She didn't say Drax and the Silver Surfer. So half points to both of you. Who's right? Who's right? Uh, uh, It is Drax and the Silver Surfer. So I'm giving you both half points. Thank you. Uh, Why don't we carry on down to abstract Nintendo characters? For 600... Who's this? I'm also going to be looking in chat to see if anybody snipes it in chat. Um. No? No takers? No takers on abstract Nintendo characters? It's kind of a, uh... Okay. Uh, it's Professor Birch. Huh. Professor Birch from Pokemon. Those po- are birch trees. Those are birch trees. <laughs> Those are birch trees. Alright, moving right along for 800. <laughs> this, is, this is the dumbest question. Looking in chat, if anybody can snipe it. <laughs> Buzz. Zeb? What is Olimar? Olimar is correct. This is a person doing an ollie, and that is the word mar. That's Olimar. You could have used, like, Marth, but cut off about, you know, 40% of Marth. I could have done that. I could have, but I found that having the full Marth in the picture made it confusing, and I didn't really want that. Well, that's why you make it very clearly only 60% of Marth. Okay. All right. And for 1,000 points, you ready? For 1,000 points. What is it? Buzz. Zeb? Isabel. Isabel! <laughs> oh, my God. That was really cute. <laughs> Isabel. Or can I can I trade in six thousand points? Uh, you want to trade in six thousand points for a prize? Yes. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Zeb, uh, I have invested your money in a mutual fund. You are up 10,000 points. And uh, now it's worthless. <laughs> well, what have we learned here today? We have learned that there's another one over here. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm calling. I was hoping to invest in like index funds and whatnot. Uh, no, no. I'm afraid. I'm afraid you just invested in scams. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys pick here for double jeopardy. All right, Mom. I believe you have 6,600. Zeb, you had 10,000, but you didn't pull it out at the right time, so you you only have a thousand now. Um, these are the three boards. We have, take a look at this one, right, 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 you got it, you got it, and take a look at this one, and take a look at this one. Uh, Zeb, as the person in second place, which one of these do you want to do? Uh, can I look at the second one real quick? Yeah. Uh... Let's go with the uh, third one. All right, here we go. The oh, I clicked on the first one by accident. Oh well, my bad, my bad. No, nope. uh, table top. There we go. I'm sorry, Seb. We're playing the second one. I actually didn't mean to do that, but here we are. Wait, how real good is the is the third one? Nah, this one's better anyway. Okay, here's two. Well, are we playing hard Jeopardy? Um, the difference between intermediate and hard isn't isn't really all that much. Uh, I just made the uh, uh, hard is just a little bit less of a joke. You know what I mean? Isabel, I would just like to remind everyone, I Isabel. Right, like Isabel, and like your point, and like there's arrows pointing at it, right? Is, yeah, that's like super cool, very funny. It's huh? Isabel. It Thank funny. you, Mom. I can't tell you how much it means to me to hear you say that. <laughs> Thank that's you. Funny. I can tell that that's very genuine, and you're not kidding at all. And I'm not to serious. and to just have someone say, "Tom, that's really funny," that means a lot, and I appreciate it. I love you, honey. <laughs> uh, I will remind. Fantastic. I will remind Zeb that this is a family show. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we're playing with it. Let's see if it violates the YouTube turns of service. Mom, I'm just waiting on you. Oh, I'm sorry. No problem. And I think this will be our last. Last round. This will be our last round, uh, and then we we might play we might play some more next time. Cause mom has to go to bed. Yeah. Get up and go to work. Tom Tom has to go to bed fairly soon as well. Tom also has to give a cat a pill, which he is just not excited about. Just not excited about. Then again, yeah. neither is the cat. Zeb, once again, this is a family show. I don't know how to change it now. Oh no! Well, I, I, I really thought you were gonna alter it, but here we are. Yeah, I, I can't. Wait, can I? <laughs> Just waiting on mom. Zeb, go ahead and fill the dead air. Uh, cool. Let me actually, because I never actually read it because we instead started talking about Joe Hill. Read that second paragraph from 110. Uh. <coughs> In August 1913, a few months before Hill's arrest, the Salt Lake Tribune complained that wherever the IWW's membership appears, there are riots and fighting. Smith, 1969, 120. Uh, ni nice, by the way? entirely untrue, but it ignores the decisive questions. Who started the violence and why? 
Sorry, what was that, Tom? Uh, no, you said 1969, so I said nice. Nice. All right, everybody, here we go. The double Jeopardy categories for today are as follows. Animal anagrams. Crypto... Are you sharing your screen? Because I don't see it. Uh, I sure should. I forgot to go to it. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I hope all of our viewers are excited coming into the Double Jeopardy round. Uh, Our categories are animal anagrams. Crypto currently. These are all about uh, mythical creatures from folklore and legend. Cinematic poetry. There's going to be a poem. I'm going to need you to finish the quote. Finish the quote with a famous... uh, Finish the poem with a famous movie quote. Stupid answers. Truly one of my favorites. Do you know the way? I'm going to show you a picture of a map. I need you to tell me the franchise or where it leads. And finally, broken thesaurus. Wouldn't you know it, my thesaurus broke while I was trying to... to give to, well I was trying to come up with synonyms for my favorite shows and now I can't remember what they are. You guys are gonna have to help me, okay? Okay, but before you do that, I actually don't have access to your screen. Oh you cannot see my screen. No. Can you use that? I can. Alright, hold on one second. We're gonna halt that. We're gonna hit this. It is all all the most fantastic <laughs> Can you see it now? Uh, now I can see it. Yep. All right, Zeb. Zeb, you were you're the Velociraptor, yes? Yes. Yeah. With a thousand points, Mom has changed it up and is now a little lion. By the way, there is one daily double hidden among these categories. There is one daily double hidden somewhere in here. Uh, Zeb, as the person in second place, you go ahead and pick first. Uh. In that case, let's go for cryptocurrency, I guess. For 200. Unlike the word Kraken, which is Norse, this legendary creature originates in the Bible. It's become so pervasive that its name is now a common noun, meaning anything big, scary, and aquatic, and it's sometimes cited as an inspiration for H.P. Lovecraft. Buzz. Zeb? What is Leviathan? Leviathan is the correct answer. Absolutely correct. Uh... By the way, a lot of uh, these are a little bit less meme Some of these are like even like kind of actual Jeopardy questions, you know? Some of these are actual real trivia. Zeb, it's your go. Crypto currently for four. For 400. Uh, the legend of this cryptid originated in Puerto Rico, but sightings have been claimed as far north as Maine and as far south as Chile. Its, goat co- its name comes from the Spanish meaning goat sucker. Plus. Zeb. The chupacabra is the right answer. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Uh, Zeb, carrying right on. Crypto for six. For 600. This legendary creature is a spirit of frost and famine. It originates from indigenous Great Lakes mythology and has appeared in Pet Cemetery and Until Dawn. Buzz. Zeb? Uh, What is the Wendigo? That is absolutely correct. I couldn't find a good picture, so here's that guy from Pet Cemetery looking up. (laughs) <laughs> Zeb, it's your go. Uh, crypto for, eight. for 800. There are many wish granting creatures in mythology and folklore, including the pre Islamic jinn, the Irish leprechaun, and this Japanese creature said to grant cursed wishes from within porcelain dolls. This is a hard question, and as we are playing Chaos Jeopardy, if you ring in with something funny, I'll give you points. Zeb? Uh, <laughs> I think this is the wrong, the wrong creature. But is it um, Ishiki? Ishiki. Hold on. We are going to our, we're going to our fact checkers. I my yokai mixed up. Ishiki. Uh, that is not correct. I'm sorry. That is a that is a different monster. Mom, you want to take a swing? No clue, honey. All right. This is the Hinagami. The Hinagami is the name of that creature. Super creepy, by the way. And finishing off for a thousand, perhaps. Uh, I was 
going to, but now I'm going to say, no, fuck you. Stupid answers for two. Fine, I see how it is. This dark fantasy western series features novels such as The Dark Tower, Wizard of Glass, and The Gunslinger. Pause. Zeb? What is The Dark Tower? The Dark Tower is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> I love this category so much. Stupid for four. For 400. Notable for Watchmen, V for Vendetta, and the famous detective Bruce Wayne, DC Comics stands for this. Pause. Zeb? Detective Comics Comics. Detective Comics Comics is the right answer. I even have... I even have that noted in the question. Yeah. Man, what kind of nerd? <laughs> Look, I have a plastic tub, like, you know the big plastic tubs that you put, like, uh, what, like all kinds of stuff in the stack in the back of your closet? Uh -huh. I have one of those filled entirely with comics. It's not even all of my comics. Zeb, I'll give you a thousand points. I'll give you a thousand points if you send in chat a picture of that. Of that tub? Yes. Well, there you go. Nope, no, that's it. <laughs> For six, Zeb. <laughs> how many points does it? How many points does it have to be? Uh, 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 oh shoot, Zeb, I forgot, I forgot that I, well, no, I probably shouldn't make that particular joke on air. Never mind. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell you after the stream. <laughs> uh, Zeb, why don't you pick a category? Actionable threats. Uh, stupid for six. <laughs> <laughs> In this early 2000s American animated show, stars Jackie Chan traveling the world to collect artifacts and fight evil. Buzz. Zeb? What is the Jackie Chan adventure? Correct. I love that show. I love that show so much. It's so good. It holds up very well. Uh, Mom, I, I'm pretty confident you have seen it in the background while you were annoyed with me. Oh, that's very kind of you to say on air. 800 points. <laughs> this this seafaring character, also known as Submariner, is an Atlantean closely associated with Aquaman and cousin to Namora. Buzz. Zeb? Uh, it's Namor. Na Sometimes he's fucking uh, uh, Susan Storm. Na is he really? Yeah. Well, Zeb, you will get that one correct, and you also get an extra 200 points. 400 points for, for neat trivia. Yeah. Uh, for an extra 200 points, can you tell me who Namora's daughter is? Uh, no. Uh, it's Namorita. N-A-M-O-R-I-T-A. <laughs> and that just... That just seems a, that just seems a bit right. Also, how dare you? How da <laughs> How dare you beat me to that joke? <laughs> hey, have 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 four hundred points, but know that I'm mad at you. Oh, uh, mom, you were the last one to get points. Where do you want to go? Uh, let's finish stupid answers for a thousand. For a thousand points, this ichthyosapien was said to be around when Lincoln was president. Zeb? What is Abe Sapien? Abe Sapien is correct. Uh, while When I ran this at UBCon, somebody buzzed in, loudly and confidently said Abe Lincoln, and then everyone on his team screamed at him. <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny and very good, and it made me very happy. Zeb, where are we going? Crypto for time. For a thousand points... 
Sightings of this two-foot bright pink venomous arthropod in the Gobi Desert are probably just mistakes caused by the desert heat and local snakes of similar size. But that didn't stop it from getting a 2010 sci-fi channel film. Buzz? Zeb? What are sandworms? Ooh, judges? Judges are saying we'll give half points for sandworm. We're looking for the Mongolian death worm. Mongolia, the Mongolian death worm is said to have been the inspiration for the, 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 uh, the legends of it, I should say, are said to have been some of the inspiration for Dune, which I find very interesting. Yeah. All right, Zeb, we got four categories. Where are we going? For 200, dang it, all of my, all of my quotes, all of my favorite movie quotes have gotten jumbled up. They're all, they're all wrong. Which quote is this? Which show is this, I mean? <laughs> Which show is this? It says. Mom? Friends? That is Friends. <laughs> 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 I love s- Broken for, 400. for 400 what show is this man I just I can't remember what I put into the th- th- thesaurus to get sinful brains I know it ran from 2005 to 2020 I just don't know what show it is I just got another notification from Zoom that we have 10 minutes left. No, nobody? This is Criminal Minds. <laughs> Moving down the category, I'm going to start bulldozing these because we're, cause we're tight on time. For 600 points, interloper objects. Buzz. Zeb? No, no, darn it, I already had this. What is Stranger Things? Stranger Things is correct. <laughs> <laughs> moving on to you want to move to 800 yeah uh zeb this is the daily double okay how much you want to wager uh let's go all in we're going all in here we go for 800 hoop of tempo Wheel of Time is the correct answer. It is Wheel of Time. You need to be at 132. There it is. Well done. Excellently done. Mom's still in the game. For a thousand. For a thousand and finishing out the category. Pale Shades. 2013 to 2022. What is this? What is this show? I can't remember. What is this show? Buzz? Zeb? What is Black Mirror? It is not Black Mirror. That's a good guess, though. Mom? I'm looking for Peaky Blinders. Oh. Peaky Blinders. Mom, what did you say? That- I said Pinky Blinders. Uh, well, I believe her. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, yeah, it's Peaky Blinders. Apparently, Peaky means pale and sickly. Oh. I didn't know that. Mom, where are we going? Peaky means pale and sickly. Not peaky. Uh, uh, peaky is the British slang for pale and sickly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're t- I knew that the thesaurus had mixed up. Mom, where are we going? Um, by the way, it was a fun category. Thank you. Uh, animal anagrams. For 200, a grumpy cat life drag. This is the anagram down here. We all, we, we all, we all, do, we all do know what, what anagram means, right? We know what an anagram means. Okay, just making sure. 
No, a grumpy cat. I'm looking for Garfield. Wow, that was not the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> wow, not a fan of this category, huh? A very, very large and very friendly, credible Ford dogfight. Uh, Zeb. Clifford, the big red dog. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> yeah, I love this category. For six hundred, yep. one of Fox's friends plaid typos. Uh, Ellie is nailing these, by the way. I don't know. Plaid typos? No? This is, uh, this is Slippy Toad. Slippy Toad from the Star Fox games. Uh, and then, well, my biggest fox is in Fox Mulder. That's a good, I, I see how you got there. For 800, a grinning, beguiling guide the air catches. Zeb? What is the Cheshire Cat? The Cheshire Cat is the right answer. Zeb, pretty good with the anagrams. And finishing out the category for a thousand, a friend of Sassy and Chance. Who's sad? Oh my god, I, I gotta find I'm buzzing. I know it. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I heard I heard those buzzes at exactly the same time. I actually heard Zeb say buzz at the exact same time as I heard Mom say, I, I got a buzz. Shadow is the right answer! That's right! There it is! Can I trade in 6,000 points? Yes, what are you looking for? Uh, 6,000 points for a prize. All right. For 6,000 points, uh, which will bring you down to 76, I think, uh, you have invested, uh, you've invested in, in new wave, uh, uh, energy tech. You are up 5,000. You're up six. Seven. <laughs> You're up eight? Oh, I'm sorry. They, they just passed new regulations. You lost it all. <laughs> Zeb, are you audible? Can I hear you? That this is a point. This is a good point. Zeb, for knowing the tax season, please have 200 points. Mom, for not knowing the tax season, please lose 500. <laughs> uh, all right, we have three minutes left. We're going to buzz through cinematic poetry. Here we go. For 200, outfits are red. Frozen is cute. Buzz. Zeb? Honey, where is my super suit? Where is my super suit? Where? All right, for 400, half of her friends had all gone mad as the Queen of Hearts got furiouser, but Alice was more intrigued than sad as she quipped. Buzz. Zeb? Oh, I got a buzz. Uh, curiouser. And? Zeb, I cannot accept curiouser, Mom. Curiouser and curiouser. Curiouser and curiouser is the right answer. Absolutely. Uh, that story is really good. Uh, <laughs> we have some more, some real good audience participation on the last two categories. For 600, one of my favorites, uh, a beautiful woman, she sat and she prayed as she was an unwilling bride, but Mandy Patankin had a debt to be paid, quoth he. Buzz? Zeb? Uh, you killed my father, prepare to die. You killed my father, prepare to die is the right answer when i did this at the con in in one of the funniest moments i've ever heard uh, i showed this answer somebody answered i showed the answer i hear somebody whisper something to somebody else in the back row and the person they whispered to goes shut up it's a slant rhyme <laughs> 
<laughs> Carrying on down the category for 800. Burke was a bit of a snitch, and Hudson a fit he did pitch. But as she saved the day, Ellen Ripley did say, Mom! Get away from her, you bitches! Get away from her, you bitch, is the right answer! Absolutely right! <laughs> Oh, that one's one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mom, for introducing me to the movie Aliens, uh, please gain 400 points, but then lose 600 points uh, because it's taken up so much of my time. For for a thousand, fine, finishing out the category, the family didn't live auspiciously and the goat had acted suspiciously. The mother, she died, but Black Phillip replied with the phrase... Ellie nailing every movie, by the way. <laughs> uh, buzz. Zeb? Um, thou like to live deliciously? That is the correct answer! Wouldst thou like to live deliciously? I thought I was going to stump people with this one, but again, in one of those really, really funny... By the way, we have less than a minute on the screen share. Uh, in one of those really, really funny moments... Uh... Uh, a the the person who had gotten all the literature questions buzzed in, put her head flat on the desk for about five seconds, and then like while with her head still on the desk, pointed at me and said, "What's thou like to live deliciously?" <laughs> all right, I think I'm actually gonna call it there uh, because we have less than a minute. And I don't feel like I don't feel like resetting. Oh, we're gone. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try to get. Uh, let's see. Uh, Zeb, get in chat for the goodbye. Zeb, are you audible? Hello. Hello. I cannot hear Zeb at all. Isn't that interesting? Oh my goodness. Hold on one second. Uh, very amusingly, it actually would be faster to uh, to have just gone and um, yeah, there it is. Give me that one. Zeb testing. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. It actually at this point would have been faster to just uh, to just go around the other way and uh, and not uh, and and just get a new zoom mic but that's fine uh i think that's where i'm gonna call it zeb if you would like to play again another day we we did we did not get to do really all that much uh and i have i have a whole a whole two more games uh my mother says hold on i can tell us exactly what she says thank you for the invite uh and ellie she says that she loves you uh I love everyone in this chat and this game. Zeb, would you like to play this again another time? Yeah, so we should also do an um actually on stream. We should do an um actually on stream. I love that game, dude. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but then, like, I'll have to set um actually questions. Which now I think I don't have much of a problem doing. Um, yeah. Actually, what we should do is come up with our own quiz format, frankly. We, we should, what we should do is make one of our own. You know what? I'm committing to it on stream. I'm committing to it live. We're going to make our own quiz format. And we're going to debut it on the Scruffy Ruffians channel. We'll see how it works. I'll port over all the, all the Jeopardy questions into some new format that we will debut here sometime in the future. Zeb, are you on board with this? All right, Zeb says, sure. Not sure if that voice is coming through. Not sure if those dulcet tones are coming in clear, but that's okay. Zeb, thank you very much for playing. Well, we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, no, when, when you're sick, I, I think, I feel like that's when your, when your tones become most dulcet, right? That's when everybody's tones become most dulcet, right? Because they got, they, they end up, yeah, yeah, you, they end up. 
just a little bit lower, you know, you get that like, you get that radio announcer sort of, sort of, sort of low ball, you know what I mean? All right, Zeb, uh, you have 30 seconds of dead air to fill right here at the end. Please fill it with radio announcer voice, go. <laughs> uh, join us join us another day for more quiz shows related to nerdy topics signing off good night and good luck